Hello and welcome to RetroBreeze and the Onion OS Ports Collection series. In this video you'll learn how to install not one, not two, but six whole Doom games on the MiU Mini and the MiU Mini Plus. This set contains Doom, Ultimate Doom, Doom 2, Doom the Plutonia Experiment, Doom TNT, and Doom Sigil. That's right, six different games are available. Well, maybe five, since Doom and Ultimate Doom are mostly the same. And to make things even better, it's super easy to install all of them. Each of these individual Doom games comes in a single .wad file, and all you need to do is to drop the right WAD file into the right folder on your Onion OS SD card. Before that though, we'll need to take care of a few prerequisites. The first prerequisite is that you'll need to have Onion OS installed on your device. For the original MiU Mini, you'll need to be on at least version 4.1, and for the Mini Plus you'll need to be on at least version 4.2. Regardless of which device you have, I always recommend being on the latest version of Onion OS. Now that you have Onion installed, you'll need to enable the ports collection. It will show up in the games section as an icon labeled ports if it's enabled. If not, then you'll need to go into apps, then package manager, then enable the ports collection from the list. The port system will now appear in the games section. Moving over to your PC, you'll need to have hidden files and file extensions visible in your file browser. To do this on Windows, open the file explorer, select the view tab, Highlight Show, and then select Hidden Items and File Extensions in the list. Next, you'll need a way to unzip 7z files. On Windows, you'll want to have 7-zip installed. To install 7-zip, browse to 7-zip.org, then click the top link for the x64 version. Double-click the exe, then go through the installer. Once it's installed, you can unzip .7z files by right-clicking them and using the 7-zip menu that appears. Finally, you'll need to download the Ports Collection archive and copy over the prerequisite files for each port. Browse to the Ports Collection GitHub page, a link to which you'll find in the description box below. On the right hand side, click Releases. Now you have two options when it comes to installing ports on the MiU Mini and the MiU Mini Plus. The first option is to download the entire ports collection at once, and the second is to only install the games that you want, when you want them. In my opinion, it's easier to download and install the entire collection at once. And as an added bonus, you get a few free included games with that as well. To do this, click the link titled Onion Ports Collection underscore, and then the version number .7z. It should be at the top of the list. This will download the entire ports collection in one .7zip archive. Extract the archive and you'll have a folder called ROMs. All you need to do is to drop the ROMs folder onto the root of your Onion OS SD card, and agree to merge and overwrite anything if prompted. When that's done, you'll have all of the prerequisite files you need to install all the currently available ports, and you can move on to the next step. Alternatively, you can just install one game from the list at a time. From that same releases page, just click the link for the specific game that you want to install, then extract its .7zip file. After the extraction, you'll have a folder called ROMs. Just drop this ROMs folder onto the root of your Onion OS SD card, and agree to merge anything if prompted. This will add only the files needed for the specific game that you chose, not all of them. So if you need to save some space on your SD card, this might be a good option. And with all that out of the way, you're ready to move on to the rest of the guide. Getting all of the Doom games was a little confusing at first, but I'm here to make it really simple for you. All you need to do is to download Doom 1993 and Doom 2 from Steam. Along with the title games, you'll also get Ultimate Doom, Plutonia, and TNT included. Doom Sigil is a free game which we'll download later on. Note that you can install any one of these games at a time, they all work by themselves. But for this video, we're going to install all of them at once. Oh, also, of course, if you own the games in any form already, you can use the appropriate .wad files from those versions instead. Even if you have like the old DOS version or something, it should work fine. But I'm going to focus on the Steam versions for this video. To begin with, insert your MiU Mini SD card into your PC and browse to ROMs, Ports, Games, Doom, PR Boom. This is where you replace all of your WAD files. Also note that in this folder, you can always check the required files text file to confirm the files, file names, and file structure that you'll need for the ports to work. Once you've purchased Doom and Doom 2 on Steam, browse to the Doom installation directory. It's typically located at C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and there'll be a folder in there called Ultimate Doom. That's the one you want. To get the original Doom game, Open the re-release folder, then the doom underscore data folder, then the streaming assets folder, and find a file in there named doom.wad. Copy that file over to your SD card into the doom PR boom folder. Then rename it exactly like this, doomi.wad. 
make sure that the I is uppercase and that the file extension is lowercase, and that's the original game good to go. For the ultimate Doom, return to the ultimate Doom folder, then open the base folder and find doom.wad. Copy that file over to your Onion OSSD card into the same Doom PR Boom folder. Then rename it exactly like this, doomu.wad, all in lowercase. That's ultimate Doom good to go. Next, open the installation folder for Doom 2. Open the base folder, then copy doom2.wad to the SD card, and rename it exactly like this, doomii.wad. Make sure that the i's are uppercase and the extension is lowercase. Go back to the Doom 2 folder and open the final Doom base folder. Copy plutonia.wad onto the SD card, then rename it exactly like this, doomplutonia.wad. Make sure that the D and the P are uppercase and that the WAD is lowercase. From that same folder, copy tnt.wad onto the SD card, then rename it exactly like this, tnt underscore evolution.wad. Make sure that tnt is uppercase and the E in evolution is uppercase too. The dot .wad should be lowercase again. By the way, Doom TNT and Doom Plutonia are two parts to the complete game known as Final Doom. And finally, it's time to get Doom Sigil, which is a free game. Browse to romero.com forward slash sigil and download the free archive from this page. Also, consider supporting the game by purchasing the soundtrack version or some of the great fan boxes too. Anyway, extract the archive and copy the sigil underscore v1 underscore 21.wad file into that same folder. There's no need to rename this one. And with that, we're done copying over files. So reinsert your SD card into your MiU Mini and browse to Games, Ports, and select Import Ports. Doom will now appear in a new collection called FPS Doom Collection PR Boom. And here they are, you've done it. You've just installed a whopping six super gory demon culling FPS games onto your MiU Mini or MiU Mini Plus. All six games control in exactly the same way. In the menu, use Y for OK and B for Back. When you're in-game, use the D-pad to move and turn, L1 and R1 to strafe, Y to shoot, A to turn 180 degrees very quickly, X to open doors and activate switches, hold down B to walk instead of run, press L2 and R2 to cycle through your weapons, press select to bring up the map and you can move while you're on the map too, and start to pause and open the menu. And that's all you need to know for this one. I have many more port tutorials coming soon to this collection, so please be sure to subscribe to RetroBreeze and also check out the playlist I've made for the Ports Collection series. This series is getting bigger and bigger and will cover every available port on the MiU Mini and MiU Mini Plus. If you like this video and it helped you to install Doom onto your device, please go ahead and leave a like on it and comment down below what your favourite Doom game is. This has been Shem from RetroBreeze, I hope you enjoy ripping and tearing, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.